Hello and welcome to the Rules of Snooker produced by Snooker Canada. Coming up is a short video on the basic rules of the game. We hope you enjoy it and join the millions of people who are already playing in over 80 countries worldwide. The game of snooker has been around for over 100 years and is played by people of all ages. With the rules being the same wherever you play, it is easy to pick up a cue and play in just about any country. Basically, in snooker, the way it works is that a player scores points every time a ball is potted into any pocket. In the end, the player with the most points wins. More details about the point system will be explained in a later section. The snooker table. OK, let's begin with the snooker table itself. In comparison to the average pool table, which measures 4 feet wide and 8 feet long, a standard snooker table measures 6 feet wide and 12 feet long. As you can imagine, this is a big difference when you are trying to pot a small ball. Now, to make things a little more challenging, the pockets on a snooker table are actually smaller than that of a pool table. So a bigger table with smaller pockets means that more precision is required. Another difference between these tables is that on small tables, if a ball hits the rails just before the pocket, it usually will still go in. Not so on a snooker table. Thus again, better precision is required. When combining these facts together, you can see that concentration plays a very important role in snooker. The snooker balls. There are a total of 22 balls used on a snooker table. One white ball, 15 red balls and 6 coloured balls. The coloured balls include yellow, green, brown, blue, pink and black. While the value of all the reds are all equal at one point each, the colours each have different values. From least to most, the colour values are yellow with a value of 2 points, green 3 points, brown 4 points, blue 5 points, pink 6 points and black 7 points. While there are some exceptions, the general rule in snooker is that you must first pot a red ball before potting a coloured ball. The choice of colour is always yours to make, so red Colour Red Colour Red Colour etc. When a red ball is potted, it stays in the pocket and when a coloured ball is potted, it gets taken out and placed back on its assigned spot, which is the same spot for that colour every time. When there are no more reds on the table, the game concludes with the potting of the colours in the order of their values, starting from lowest to highest. So you begin with the yellow ball, then green, brown, blue, pink and then black if necessary. At this stage, when there are no more reds on the table, once a coloured ball is potted, it remains in the pocket. The queue. While it is OK to use a queue that is used on the smaller pool tables, most players prefer using a snooker queue when playing snooker. Both types of queues are very similar, however, snooker queues have a smaller tip allowing for more precision. The weight and height of the queue you choose to use is a personal preference. The extensions. Due to the unusual size of a snooker table, there will be some shots that would be impossible to reach without the use of the extension. A regular extension, or sometimes called a rest or a bridge, is used when the cue ball is somewhere near the middle of the table. Sometimes the cue ball might be even further down the table, where a long rest or bridge is required. Finally, sometimes the cue ball is in a position which is impossible to hit without striking towards the top of the ball. For these instances, a spider is used for that purpose. Starting a snooker match. A snooker game begins with the balls set up in their proper positions. This is the same setup for every game. 
The 15 red balls are tightly packed together and set up in a triangle. The colours are placed on their assigned spots. Finally, the cue ball can be placed anywhere in the D section of the table for the break-off. The red balls are placed between the black and pink ball spots, with the top red ball being placed right below the pink ball spot without actually touching the pink ball. The break-off. The break-off begins by placing the cue ball anywhere on or within the lines of the D section at the top of the table. Unlike in pool, where the goal of the break-off is to smash and spread the balls as hard as possible, in snooker's break-off, the goal is to release the least amount of balls as possible, so as not to leave your opponent with too many options. The ultimate break-off is to leave the cue ball as close to the back cushion as possible, preferably while not leaving your opponent a clear shot at any reds.